Hey there guys, this is your Roller Derby Mark Roman coming at you with another exciting Roller Derby video of my collection. Um, I was finally able to hang up all of my posters in my room. Uh, it was very time consuming trying to get everything, um, you know, all like all the posters even and all that stuff. But <clears throat> um, the finished result is quite amazing, But it, if I do say so myself. So let's get started right away. Um, these are two 1977 International Roller Skating League handbills. Um, these were pretty much put up in like laundromats, on telephone poles. They were like handed out to people walking around just to get, um, you know, uh, just to let people know about the upcoming uh, roller derby game. Um, so, uh, so, so that's cool. And, uh, yeah, so as you can tell, this is the Bombers versus the Red Devils. The left, the green one on the left is from Kizar, and the white one on the right is from the San Jose Civic Auditorium. And underneath, I also uh, put in within the framework uh, two 1978 Bay Bomber VIP passes. Really cool. And I don't think they go really well un underneath. <clears throat> this going down you have a 1978 home season opener poster the bay bombers versus the midwest pioneers look at all those hall hall of fame names right there Charlie o'connell john wesson my dad dynamite tony roman dolores tucker gil roscoe my mom carol peanuts meyer dynamite mike gammon cliff butler and judah mcguire and uh, they were facing the pioneers Bob Hine, Jan Vallo, and an all-star lineup. Keys are Sunday, April 9th. So, yep, these two are right next to my dad's uh, number 37 Bay Bomber jersey with his orange skating trunks. Uh, this jersey was used in uh, 1970. Um, and, uh, um, and also a little bit in 71 <clears throat> before we went to the Pine pioneers um and then when he came back to the bombers um in uh in late 72 um he wore the more round um um it it wasn't you know torn a bit like it is there it's more rounded you, um you know um it was uh, it wasn't torn but he actually did this alteration himself because it got sometimes got tight around his neck so he just cut a little hold and everything but he also wore this jersey when he was on uh the bombers for the international roller skating league from 1977 to 1978 he wore this jersey and he wore his brown skating trunks there's pictures of him right there that's the right there he's being interviewed by don jury 77 there he is, holding hands with my amazing mom during warm-ups before the game. So, that's it. Moving along, this is something really cool I want to show you guys, too. These are action figures that were made um, by this guy. I can't, I can't think of his, his name, but um, as you can tell... The, bom the bombers and they're wearing my parents are wearing their panel uniforms the helmets are also removable and the um, action figures are fully posable and look he did an amazing job getting the faces down too and these are dvd games right here <clears throat> moving along down more dvd games roller derby dvd games i have over a hundred more action figures. I mean, sorry if it's a little bit dusty. I gotta clean them, as you can tell. Um, but we even have the skates right there. Moving along down. Now these are 12 inch ones. They're fully posable. The helmets are also removable. This is actual fabric. I don't wanna move it too much, but you know, the head moves and the arms and the legs and everything. And so it's really, really cool. Um, 
skate. Check it out. Real fabric. It's amazing what this guy did. There's some, these were made by my friend Tom Fox. In a clay uh, uh, oven. This is actual clay. He had them painted and everything. Some trading cards moving along down. <clears throat> these are same action figures. Uh, these two right here. This is when my parents were. were uh, these are their 1965 Bay Bomber uniforms. However, my mom wore. Actually, she wore the number 34. Um, that was my mistake. I should have told the guy who made these to make her number 34 because in this style she only wore 34 my dad wore 37 she my mom wore the number 34 <clears throat> and then she wore the number 37 again um pretty sure um in uh in 67 uh yeah in 67 so helmets are removable too in the back there Pioneers, number 51. That was when my dad was on the Pioneers during the 1972 season. See the skates. Everything really great detail. Let's see if I can move in a bit. There we go. Right there. There's it when he was on the T-Birds, 1974. I mean, the painting on this is just amazing. The guy also, you know, did my dad's famous pork chop sideburns, too, as well, as you can tell. There's the skates and everything. All right. Some trading cards. Down here is another one that I put in a little frame box of my dad wearing his brown, his brown and orange uniform. So, all right, here's more of the, here's the jersey, uh, excuse me, here are all the, all the posters right here. I'll just move along slowly along the wall. <clears throat> so right there. So I did my best to get them perfectly even because I am OCD. <laughs> I want everything, you know, even and straight and you know, but I think they did a really, really good, good job. So let's move along the side right here. Keep on going. And if you guys want to stop and see the names and, and everything, um, you, 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 you can, you know, always pause the, the video and move it to each poster, get a better look at all these hall of famer names and everything. Here's my reflection, hello, in the red poster. Go, it ends right there. And then it continues. A little nice little wrap around. And this one is right next to my dad's framed 1965 number 37 San Francisco Bay Bomber jersey and his skating trunks. That's just gorgeous. There he is right there. There, just kneeling with his jamming helmet, smiling. There's my mom and dad right there, 65. Little portrait of him smiling signed and my mom and dad are right there there he is wearing there he is wearing this jersey <clears throat> back up get a good view of it looks really really nice
Chiefs versus Pioneers, Man Square Garden. The first ever uh, interleague game, the Bay Bombers versus the T-Birds. First ever that they ever skated against each other. That poster at the Oakland Coliseum. Amazing. I really like this one, this yellow one from 1979, Bombers versus the Braves. Their National Roller Skating League poster has all those great names underneath there. Interleague game from 1972, Pioneers versus Thunderbirds. And there's a nice doubleheader, Pioneers, Bay Bombers, Jolters versus Chiefs. Match race. Six laps blocking Cliff Butler and Charlie O'Connell when Charlie was on the Chiefs and Cliff Butler was on the Jolters. But there you go, guys. These two are, I would say, my one of my favorites. These are both from 1977. I just love the blue. This double header of the Chief of the Bombers versus the Chiefs versus the Red Devils. They played two full games that night. Man, I wish there was a video footage of, of that. That would have been amazing to see. Another double header with the awards. And yeah. I just love how it just wraps around. Boom! To the next next wall. So let's see. I'm just backing up so you can get a try and get a good view. Sorry if my room's a little dirty. But there you go. What do you think, guys? Looks good? I think it looks amazing. Took about two hours. To do all the measuring and everything ugh but it's well worth it so there you guys go all my posters 17 hung up finally they've been leaning up against the wall for gosh three years There you go. It's going to end it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of all my posters that I was able to hang up finally. And please comment. Let me know what you think of them and everything. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your family. Tell your friends. Show them all these videos of, you know, of my collection because I'm just doing my best to keep Roller Derby alive. All right, guys. This is Roller Derby Mark Roman. Signing out. I will see you guys later. Bye.